Hey everyone, this video is about taking the shelves, the bottom, the freezer shelves of a Bosch refrigerator. They're pretty much the same. So, as you can see here, we took it out. That's what the inside looks like. And it's got these bars on the side, right? And so, they're really, really difficult to take out. But what you have to do, see this part here? just so that you can see what the railing actually looks like and it's a better way to figure out like how the whole system works. But from here in the bottom, there's like a little, I don't know if you can see it. I don't know, but anyway. In the bottom, there's something that you can pull out. So I'll show you what it looks like once it's in. But you see, like it's gotta come out because stuff gets underneath like right there and it just accumulates. Okay, the other part that also came out and can come out is the crisper drawer. And that's what it looks like, okay? Okay, so this is the drawer itself. When you take it out, there is, these are the railings in the bottom. Just to give you an idea so you can picture how it goes. Okay, so after you clean this part, you have to wait and clean the other part, the one that goes in the very bottom down here, because otherwise this one, this one section, you won't be able to get it in, okay? Um, it is super difficult to clean. Like you see, you have to make sure that you don't spill anything ever, because it can get stuck in those little railings. This refrigerator has a ton of different crevices where things can get into, which makes it difficult to clean because if it sticks, it gives you a very hard time to get out. This is an example of how, where things can get into. Even, this is the door, and even right here, little things can get in, it's terrible. You know, I'm hoping that women who are engineers and design refrigerators keep in mind that cleaning is a big part of getting appliances and design things so that it can be easily cleaned. Okay, so this is putting the bottom container. Make sure that that's all the way to the back and then just gonna slide it in. together and doing this for the first time because we've never been able to remove the darn things. Okay, yeah. Oh, see what happened? So the slanted back goes towards the back flat part or the front flat the front no, flat you didn't know that. You didn't know that. I see and those you just simply like slide it in. This is for practical purposes, this is how you get it done. The instructions in the manual are German and they don't make any sense. <laughs> okay, so now we this put is gonna be a the drawers. Let's do it. I think Okay, so you pull the racks out. And then you just simply kind of slide it in. Um, tell us what you did there. That was it? So you Wait, so you slide it at the So you the slide them out and then you put it on. Yeah. It, it, it's, and then it's it just kind of It's a two-step process. You just kind of slide it in. Can you stop that for a second? Anything to Nick when he comes down. Okay, so just kind of jimmy with it, make sure that it is right in. I thought this went all the way to the front. Like that? Um, or does it just it yeah, doesn't. Like or are we pulling this out all the way? Yeah. No, it That's doesn't. It. it doesn't go all the way to the front when you slide it in. It just kind of has like a little gap right here. But you can make sure that it's in because you slide it in. And then you're able to close the refrigerator. Okay. Some of this is. 
Okay, so we found the instructions, like my husband said, is German, but it's really not very, it's kind of confusing, doesn't explain anything. And this is what it looks like when you slide it in. Yeah, and these are the handles. Flex, quick explanation again. All right, so down here on the side, um, it's going to act like some of the ones that are up in the top main part of the fridge. You just want to pull it away from the sides a little bit and then pull it upwards and then lift right up. And the part that you pull out is this metal handle right here? No, you, you don't pull it out. You just pull it away from that. Oh, I see. Doesn't seem to be very easy. I can't do it, but he can. So you just kind of pull this pull this part out so can you do it for us please I can't take it out without the top one. Oh, first. you have to first take this one out in order to take that part out just remember that but what he says you do once again is you just pull this out on both sides together and then you're able to pull the door out pull it away pull up this one needs to be out first awesome okay so I have another video on how to put, how to take out the shelves and the refrigerator part. Um, I'm gonna put the link in the description below so that it can, you can see it. And vice versa, I'm gonna put this link in the video up there so that you can see it too and link up to it. It's really not that difficult, but you need to know what to do and how to do it because the instructions are not the best. Okay, so if you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you hit the little bell subscribe to my channel and definitely share this video. I hope that it's useful and it helps you keep your refrigerator beautiful. Thanks for watching Saving with Talis.